So moving databases is a lot like actually moving. Um, a new house is exciting, but uh, it takes intention and time to set it up successfully, right? Uh, so oftentimes when you move, you th throw everything into the garage and you keep it there for years and years and years until you have a place for it in your new house. But uh, once you do have a place for your new stuff, you also might find that there's some stuff that you don't need anymore. So then you channel your best inner Marie Kondo and you say, does this spark joy? No, it does not. And we just throw it away. And also, um, it's best if you make these types of decisions yourself. I don't know if you've ever had your friends help you move, but where my friends, uh, my friend's optimal layout of a kitchen is not my optimal layout of a kitchen. So I say that analogy because um, it's the same thing in Planning Center. There's going to be new things for you to discover. There's going to be things that you no longer need because Planning Center has different solutions for those things. And the, this is your data. So it's your decision as to how you want to manage it with Planning Center, right? So let's give an overview of the things that we're going to talk about today. And that might be all you need, especially if you're familiar with this type of data, which for those of you who don't know, this type of data is called a CSV file. And that stands for comma separated values. Not to be confused with CVS, which is a popular pharmacy here in the United States. A CSV file just is basically a dumbed down version of a spreadsheet. It's a spreadsheet that's converted to text format, and then it can be shared across different platforms like Mac and Windows or across different uh, programs like Planning Center or another database. So the first step of this process is that you need to get a CSV file. And that might sound overly simple, but depending on the system that you're moving from or systems that you're moving from, that could be a little difficult. Either some things don't allow you to uh, export as a CSV, <clears throat> instead they export as a different type of file, um, or there's just lots of different CSVs and lots of different data and you need to consolidate it together. So first step, CSV file. The next step, very important step, is you want to make a copy of your CSV file. That way, you always have your original data, and but now we can start to manipulate it and change it. So if you ever need to get things back to the way that they were, then you have this file that you can revert back to, but all the data that we're doing moving forward is going to be with our copy. So. Now that we've got our copy CSV, we need to decide what inside what um, what data we're going to keep and what data we're going to throw away. And I'll talk about that a little bit more in a second. Finally, we need to find a place in once we have the data that we do want to keep, we need to find a place in Planning Center where that data should live. Now, sometimes that's built into Planning Center, but there's also the way for you to customize in Planning Center data. Uh, places to hold your data that is important to you. And then we are actually ready to do an import. Once we have our data that we're going to keep and a place to put it, we can import. And the big thing that I want you to take away from this step is you can import as many times as you want. Um, we don't limit the number of imports that you can do into your account, and we don't really have a limit as to the number of people that you can import in a single import, although the bigger the file, the longer that takes. Uh, but you can import in batches or waves. So once you get people into your account, you can add more information to them over time because any existing profiles that get updated, we just update them. We don't create a new profile, and you're not going to have to do a bunch of double work. All right. So with that out of the way, 